Next, you click Send Pokemon. Now check in here, your transporter energy. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Just gonna turn that down. You heard Zoe talking about it. Transferring Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home is now available, and Zoe just invited me to a raid, so let's check together. Ah, oh, no shiny for me. Hey, Catherine got the shiny though. Congratulations, Catherine. So, let me just catch this, and then let's talk about transferring Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home. The ability to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home is now live, and once in Home, you can transfer to other games like Sword and Shield, so this finally allows you to transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Um, and here's how it works. First things first, let me just say, right now, as of the time that I'm recording this, it's 4 p.m. on Tuesday, November 10th. This is only available for level 40 trainers, just for now. It will be coming. It, it, I'm only going to say this one time. It will be coming to lower level trainers soon. This is the way it works with every big feature rollout. Niantic always starts with level 40 because it's a small group of people and they can test it to make sure everything's working properly and slowly they'll roll it out to lower levels and it will happen. And if you're level 39, if you're level 35, if you're level 30, you will be able to do this soon. So in order to start the process, you wanna to go to settings and scroll all the way to the bottom and you'll see Pokemon Home right here. So click on Pokemon Home. You're gonna to have to sign into your Nintendo account that you use for Pokemon Home. Once you're logged in, you can click on Send Pokemon to send Pokemon. But first, let's read this. Right above that, you'll see in bold, Pokemon sent to Pokemon Home cannot be sent back to Pokemon Go. This is a one-way journey. Pokemon sent to Pokemon Home cannot be sent back to Pokemon Go. Once you transfer Pokemon out of Pokemon Go, it is not coming back. So don't transfer anything you want to keep in Pokemon Go. The Pokemon is going to the store to get a gallon of milk and you're never gonna see it again. You have this thing, it's called a Go Transporter and it has a limited amount of energy and it takes time to recharge. It has 10,000 energy and every Pokemon that you transfer has a cost. So let's just quickly go to Cerebi.net, greatest Pokemon site of all time for news and information. Anyway, uh, you can see here, there's a cost for standard Pokemon, legendary Pokemon, and mythical Pokemon. Standard Pokemon is gonna cost 10 energy. And again, there's 10,000 total, so you can transfer 1,000 regular Pokemon all at once. There is an increase in cost depending on the Pokemon's CP. So if it's between 1,000 and 2,000, it's gonna cost an extra 100 energy. If it's above 2,000 CP, it's gonna cost an extra 300 energy. For legendary Pokemon, they're gonna cost 1,000 energy to transfer, plus 9,000 if it's shiny, which puts you at 10,000. And what that means is you can only transfer one shiny legendary Pokemon at a time before your uh, transporter needs to recharge all of its energy. That recharge takes a week, an entire week, you can see there's also increased costs for the CP of the Legendary, but if you're transferring a Shiny, then it just uses up all the energy, 100% of the energy. So that CP additional cost only matters if you're not transferring a Shiny. Same thing for Mythicals, base cost is 2,000 energy plus 8,000. So it costs all of your energy to transfer a Shiny Mythical or a Shiny Legendary. It costs 2,000 energy to transfer a regular Shiny Pokemon, non-legendary, and it takes a whole week for that energy to completely recharge. You can also spend coins to do that faster. It's gonna cost uh, one coin for every 10 energy, or a thousand coins to fully recharge the Go Transporter, which is a lot, but at the same time, I, I'm not gonna be transferring that many Pokemon. I don't know. I don't know how many Pokemon you're planning on transferring over to Pokemon Home, but for me, Pokemon Go is the game that I'm gonna be playing more than Pokemon Sword and Shield. I am playing a lot of Sword and Shield right now on Twitch, so come through, I'm doing shiny hunting, but I've been playing Pokemon Go for four years. Every main series Pokemon game, I play through it one time. It's fun, I enjoy it. It lasts for a couple weeks. 
and then I move on. So transferring a Pokemon out of Pokemon Go and into Pokemon Sword and Shield, for me, is not really all that desirable because I'm going to be playing Pokemon Go a lot longer than I'll continue playing Sword and Shield. But anyway, I digress. Let's get into the transfer. So if you hit continue here, you're going to see your Pokemon and you'll see your energy up at the top. So let's start with this. If you search for mythicals, look, you are able to transfer them. So if they're not favorited, you will possibly accidentally transfer them. So make sure you have favorited your Jirachi, Victini, Mew, Celebi. You can only get one of those in Pokemon Go. And if you transfer them, they're not coming back. So a mythical like Genesect would cost 2000 energy. A shiny mythical is gonna end up costing all of the energy. You can see the bar get depleted at the top there. So if you wanna transfer multiples, I'm only gonna be able to do three because of the increased cost for the CP being higher, being above 1000, or in the case of the Dark Ride being above 2000, there's an additional cost for that. And again, a shiny is gonna use up all of the energy in one go. So we're definitely not transferring any mythicals right now. Same goes for legendary. They're gonna cost a thousand energy, which is less, plus an additional cost for the CP. And if you wanna transfer a shiny legendary, again, that's gonna use all of your energy. If you wanna transfer non-legendary Pokemon, they're a lot cheaper. Like, look, a lot cheaper. You can select a ton. Well, that's a shiny. You can select a ton of these, but if we reverse sort here, and select small Pokemon, you can see they cost so little energy to transfer, you almost can't even see the bar being depleted here. So you can transfer really a ton of Pokemon as long as they're not legendary. Okay, I take it back. There is a limit to the total number of Pokemon that can be sent. So right now I've selected 27 Pokemon. So it seems like 27 might be the max number of Pokemon you can transfer at once. But I think, I, think, I think you're able to transfer more Pokemon after that. It's just at one time, that's probably the limit. Before I actually transfer any Pokemon, I do want to take a look at IVs here. So let's just grab a Lugia. I think I'll end up transferring this. We'll call it home. The IVs on this Lugia are 12, 15, 13. This is important because when you transfer it over, some of that's gonna carry over and some things are gonna change. The moves also extra sensory arrow blast. Those aren't going to matter. Let me also grab a shiny that I have a bunch of. How about you, little Charmander? That is a 671 IV Charmander. We'll call it home. Back to Pokemon Home and go to transfer those things. So Lugia, Charmander, that's going to use up a considerable amount of energy. And then I'm also just going to grab a couple. Uh, just random sort of low, low CP Pokemon to transfer over. So hit next. Are you sure you want to send four Pokemon? That's Lugia, Shiny Charmander, a little Piplup, and a little Wurmple. I'm going to click Transport, get your nice little animation there, and there they go. You do get one candy for each Pokemon that you transfer, just as if you transferred them to the Professor. And you also get a mystery box as uh, a reward for this. So this is the first time that you're able to get a mystery box in Pokemon Go without needing Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee. So you can get Meltan from this. As of right now, Shiny Meltan is not available. That hasn't been announced. No one has confirmed that. No one's found a Shiny Meltan. So if you are hoping to get a Shiny Meltan out of this box, I would wait just a little bit longer for any kind of confirmation. But as of right now, I don't think Shiny Meltan is gonna be available. But again, you can now get Meltan and you can get the mystery box without having to buy anything extra. You just have to have a Pokemon Home account and you're good to go. Once you've transferred some Pokemon over, that is going to use up some energy. If you go back to transfer more, you're going to see how much energy you have left, how long it's going to take to recharge, and how much it's going to cost to fully recharge it. And again, it is going to cost a thousand coins to recharge the full amount of energy. If you're not missing all your energy, it's going to cost one coin per 10 energy. So 352 coins. That means I've used 3,520 energy transferring Pokemon. So you can charge it. For coins, I'm definitely not going to do that. I don't think it's worth it. I don't need to transfer that many Pokemon. Or I can wait two days, ten hours until it's fully charged. Again, it takes a week to charge from zero to all the way full. So if you're transferring legendary shinies, mythical shinies, it's going to be a limit of one per week. So now, the next thing you need to do is go to Pokemon Home 
to receive those Pokemon. So once you open Pokemon Home, you'll get a pop-up Pokemon Go link. One or more Pokemon have been transferred from Pokemon Go. Would you like to receive them? Yes. View transferred Pokemon. They're coming through. Charmander, Lugia, Wurmple, Piplup. Thank you. You've received the Pokemon from Pokemon Go. And now they are in my Pokemon box. I don't... I haven't used Pokemon Home. You can probably see that here. So when you tap on a Pokemon to look at it, you're going to see their stats, their IVs. This Lugia came through at level 20 because that's what level it was in Pokemon Go. That is hidden information in Pokemon Go, but it is level 20. If you catch it from a raid, it's level 20. If it's weather boosted, it's going to be level 25. Again, hidden information, but every Pokemon does have a level, and they'll come through at the same level. If you look at the moves, Weather Ball, Ancient Power, Mist, and Safeguard, it's going to go by what moves Lugia would learn at level 20 in Gen 8 in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So the moves that it has in Pokemon Go are not going to carry over. They're not going to be important. Uh, it's just going to go by what it normally would learn in Gen 8. It's going to pick up an ability, it's going to pick up a nature, and as far as I know, those are going to be randomized. Its original trainer is... Turner Tips, which is me, but that's not my Pokemon Go name, that's my Pokemon Home name. If you scroll down, you can see Pokemon Go Trainer Name, Trainer Tips Nick, that is my Pokemon Go name, and it'll tell you what games it can travel to. So let's go Pikachu and Eevee are kind of grayed out there, which means it can't go there, because it is a Gen 1 game. But uh, Sword and Shield, this Pokemon can travel to Sword and Shield, and to do that, you would have to open that up on your Switch. And in Pokemon Home, if you tap on a Pokemon's stats spread, you can see this, this here is its IVs. Uh, it doesn't tell you exactly the number, but it'll show you how good the IVs are, basically. So for defense and special defense, you can see it has best, which means it's a perfect IV. That was a 15 defense Lugia in Pokemon Go, and that carries over to a perfect defense IV uh, for the main series, that would be 31 defense IV. HP is very good, I think that was, was that 13 in Pokemon Go? Attack pretty good, I think that was 12 in Pokemon Go, but you can see that attack and special attack are mirrored, defense and special defense are mirrored, and that's because in Pokemon Go we only have one attack stat, one defense stat, whereas the main series has a physical and special stat for both attack and defense. So whatever the Pokemon's defense IV is in Pokemon Go will be its defense and special defense IV in the main series or in Pokemon Home. Same goes for attack. HP is going to carry over exactly. And speed, because there is no speed stat in Pokemon Go, speed is just going to be random, it seems. So this one came through as decent. It looks like a little bit more than halfway, so maybe 16, 17 speed IV out of 31, again, in main series. But the, the IVs carry over, the level carries over, the moves do not carry over, and then the Pokemon is going to pick up an ability and a nature, two things which do not exist in Pokemon Go. Same goes for Charmander. You can see special attack and attack are the same. Special defense and defense are the same. And those were pretty low in Pokemon Go. Same goes for HP. I think it was like a... What was it? 2 HP? It was low. Anyway, IVs carry over, moves do not carry over, picks up an ability, picks up a nature. And also, actually, uh, if you look, picks up a mark there. The little G next to the shiny mark above the stats is a mark that shows that the Pokemon came from Pokemon Go. Now, not every Pokemon can be transferred from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home. Pokemon with costumes cannot be transferred. So, if any of your Pikachu with hats that don't exist in the main series, so the, the most recent Pikachu, I think the Ash Hat Pikachu, can be transferred. But like Halloween, Santa Hat, um, all those costumes cannot be transferred. There are also a couple specific Pokemon that can't be transferred, or Pokemon that will change forms when they're transferred. So again, going back to Cerebi, any cast form forms will tr uh, revert to just normal form cast form, because in main series, cast form changes forms depending on weather. In Pokemon Go, that's just a permanent form. Origin form Giratina will change to altered form. Sunshine form Cherim will change to overcast form. Uh, Darmanitan, we don't have those forms in Pokemon Go yet. Same goes for Meloetta, we don't even have Meloetta in Pokemon Go. Genesect, we don't have the other forms. But those are all going to revert to normal forms, basically, when you transfer them over. And then as for a list of Pokemon that are unable to transfer, Spinda cannot be transferred over because we have specific forms for Spinda in Pokemon Go. 
but in the main series the pattern of Spinda's spots is randomized so that wouldn't really work your Spinda's spots would change so you can't transfer Spinda over same goes for Armored Mewtwo again it's essentially a costume and then all of these costumed Pokemon Squirtle Squad, Party Hats, Beanies, uh, Clone Pokemon, Halloween Costumes, all of the hats, Party Hat Wurmple, Top Hat Kirlia, none of these forms or costumes can be transferred over to Pokemon Home. Once you've got your Pokemon in Pokemon Home, if you want to transfer them to Sword and Shield, you're going to want to open up Pokemon Home on your Switch. And from here you can, well you can see there's Pokemon Go integration now. Uh, you can receive Pokemon on the Switch if, if you're not doing it on the phone. Obviously I already grabbed the Pokemon so this isn't gonna work, but if you were transferring Pokemon over, this is where you would go to receive them uh, if you're using the Switch. So if I go to my Pokemon, I can look in my Pokemon Home box, and again, I can see my Pokemon here. You can see that they're all uh, marked with the G, which means they came from Pokemon Go. And let me just back out of here, because like I said, I don't, I don't use Pokemon Home. I literally just used it for the first time a couple days ago. So what I want to do, actually, is open up Shield, connect to this game, and this is how I would then transfer Pokemon to Shield. So I can grab a Pokemon from uh, my box here. I can grab this Lugia that I transferred over from Pokemon Go. Put it into a box in Pokemon Shield. Same goes for Shiny Charmander. But you see, I can't transfer Piplup into Shield. I can't transfer Wurmple into Shield. That's because those Pokemon aren't actually available in that game. Not every Pokemon is available in Pokemon Sword and Shield. So if you're transferring stuff over, just make sure you double check that it's even available in that game before transferring it. And then I also saw earlier today, thanks to Reversal, you can't transfer a mythical Pokemon. So that's Victini, Celebi, Mew, Jirachi, Genesect, Darkrai. You can't transfer mythical Pokemon into Sword and Shield from Pokemon Go unless you already have a legitimate uh, copy of that Pokemon from a distribution event in Sword and Shield. So a Pokemon like Victini, a Pokemon like Genesect, which are available, you can get those in Sword and Shield, um, until you actually do get them from an event in Sword and Shield, you aren't able to transfer your Victini or Genesect from Pokemon Go to your Sword and Shield game. As a workaround, you can trade with someone who has one legitimately. That's what Rev did. He traded with Austin John to get Victini. Uh, in his game and then was able to transfer his Victini and Genesect over and that's why I was using those as uh, examples so thanks Rev. Alright I'm gonna save changes I'm gonna open up my Sword and Shield we'll take a look Sword and Shield just Shield okay so once we're in Sword and Shield I can go to my Pokemon boxes I can grab that Lugia I can put it in my party I can grab that shiny Charmander I can put it in my party and Boom, Lugia, <laughs> it looks actually really cool. Following me around in Pokemon Shield. I love it, hello Lugia, how are you? So cool. How about you Charmander? Oh, ah, it's so excited, ah, so cute. All right, so there it is. You can transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Go to Pokemon Home, from Pokemon Home to Sword and Shield. It is finally finally available let me know down in the comments uh are you excited about this are you transferring pokemon have you been saving shinies uh if you have questions about it please ask down below don't ask why it's not available for your level because i answered that already but any other questions leave them down below i'm happy to look into it and hopefully answer if if the information is available uh, with that said, with that said, that's it for the video. Come through on Twitch. I've been playing a lot of Shield, doing Dynamax adventures, uh, doing PvP and Pokemon Go. It's been fun. Come hang out with us. See ya.